Systems chemistry is a new area of chemistry that's just emerged in the last few years that deals with molecules that can make more of themselves, self-replicating molecules. There are such molecules and these molecules tend to make small networks and that's what systems chemistry deals with, replicating molecules and the networks that they establish. Now why is that important? Because it fills a void that currently exists between, let's call it regular chemistry, that deals with non-replicating systems, stuff, uh, regular stuff, and biology, which is really very complex replicating chemistry. So now we have uh, that void, that vacuum, where we have very little information uh, being filled by the systems chemistry that looks at simple replicating systems and through that connects the biology to chemistry and gives us a, a better understanding of what biology is all about. And an important insight that's come out from that is that the process by which regular matter, non-replicative matter, ordinary chemical stuff became life is one continuous process that the chemistry and the biology merge. It's one process. So it, the, traditionally we tend to think that there was some chemical phase where something mysterious happened and as a result of that simple life emerged from chemical stuff. And then once the, chem, the simple life came about, evolution took over and uh, Darwinian rules uh, are applicable. Systems chemistry is saying, no, that's not how it is. It's one continuous process, and that means we have to reformulate all of our biological ideas in chemical terms so that the whole process can be described uh, with one set of terms. And you cannot describe chemical processes in biological terms. It's not applicable.